Tap, tap, tap in collective. I'm God's major oracle. Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a, a past, present, future, overall energy. We have the bottom of the deck, top of the deck. Top of the deck, we have the high priestess. This is you. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. This is a choice card. This represents you and your person. Past. We have the two of presents, which represents the two of pentacles. We have the two of candles, which represents the two of wands. We have the two of needles, which represents the two of swords. And we have potions, which represents the two of cups. This is a new deck. You can find it on Amazon. It's called The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I do have channel messages. So I'm going to start with that first. Don't forget, this is an 18 plus channel. So YouTube trigger warning. We never know what the cards are going to say. All my videos are timeless. They're for you when you find it or it finds you. Don't forget to give me a like, a share, a subscribe, a comment, and hit the notification bell to all so you know when I upload. Now, from this read, what I'm getting is there's a balance between harmony and love, peace and love, where you're trying to find peace in this love. But as you can hear with the background sounds, this person's a savage that you're dealing with. I'm also playing copyright free ambiance Halloween sounds. Now, what I get is you need to trust yourself and find a way to work out your current situation. The two, we have a two sequence here. The two of presents, the two of candles, the two of needles, the two of potions. And we have the major arcana, which is the high priestess, which is also a two card. So there's definitely a message here. The two represents a balance between light and dark, yin and yang. This has to do with a twin flame situation. This has to do with the reunion and the union within a twin flame situation. That means this is approaching or already it's on its way. So you're about to meet your twin flame or you already know who your twin flame is. This is why you're the high priestess. That means your person is a hierophant. Now, with the time, I get like, like this situation, it's running out of time. Your person is running out of time to make a decision, to make a choice. And so have you. Because if neither one of you make a choice, then the divine is going to make a choice for you. So I get like someone is running out of time. I get like your person is the one that is running out of time. Two, the two represents an angel number. This could be, you could be seeing two. 22, 222, or 2222 in sequence is often associated with the theme of balance and harmony, loving relationships, and finding life's path. It's sent by your guardian angel. It's to remind you that you are not alone and that they are sending all the vibrations and energies you need to thrive in this beautiful life and in this current situation. I also got, we're in the harvest moon. So we're in the harvest moon between Aries and Libra. And everybody knows that an Aries and Libra do not get along. You could be an Aries or you can be a Libra or your person can. Um, take it as it resonates. But we do have all the elements out here. We have earth, fire, wind, water. We have all the elements out here. So it doesn't matter who it is, what the zodiac sign is. This could represent anyone. We have a, a, a versus, Mars versus Venus, which is love and war. This is like a thin line between love and hate. Like I said, we're in the harvest moon. This could be represent also a November Scorpio, an October Libra. Take it as it resonates. Someone is trying to catfish you. Someone is trying to rage war on you. I get like your person has a person. Your person is dealing with either a whole witch or a warlock. Take it as it resonates because there's no gender in card reading. 
This person wants to rage war with you because that is what their story is about. Your person's person was put here to destroy this divine union. While you're in love and light, your person's in kind of a mental turmoil. Your energy is all love and light. You have peace with the decisions you have made. And if you're not, then you should do so. It's okay to be alone. If someone's not good for you, then they're not good for you. In a way, you catfished your ex because your ex thought that you was going to always run back to them, that you was always going to be under their wing, like they always were going to be able to pin you down. But you kind of catfished them because you're not the same you. You're a totally different person. You have grown. You have, you're, you, I get like you've mastered yourself in a sense. Now, you have became a humble person. This person thought you were small and weak, and their person's person thought you were small and weak. But you're a giant, and you have giants standing with you. I get like you have Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron standing right with you. You just don't realize it yet. For some of you, you have. For some, some of you, you haven't. Take it as it resonates. You have a big heart. And this person, I get like they were caught in the act. You caught this person out there in one way or another. If, and as soon as you feel, like you feel people being fake around you, you cut them off. It's like you're noticing the fake even before they're trying to be fake. Like people's masks are falling off around you all over. It's because you've mastered yourself. Your spirit team is nexting people that are trying to come into your life, cutting them right out of your world. You need to listen to them because your spirit team have, has heard conversations that you haven't. They've been in rooms that you haven't. These people are shocked. They never thought you would elevate in this manner. You have two kings or two queens to choose from. You have a past lover and a present lover. You have an old one and a new one coming in. The lover's card is all about choices. You have to make a choice in this situation. Who do you choose? It's the real question. For some of you, you have a pet. That is your familiar. When your pet is rubbing on you, your pet is cleansing you. When your pet is walking around the house, I take the horse like confirmation. When your pet is walking around the house, your pet is cleansing the house. Your pet is like a spiritual warfare, your familiar. Now, this person regrets not believing in you. And this person regrets believing the lies of their other person. Someone is really obsessed with you at this point because they feel rejected by you. Now, I also got the angel number 232. Take it as it resonates. It says, you have someone shocked and shook. You cut someone out and you cut someone out for good. And this person is really upset about it. This person was used to making like the decisions for you both. But this time you made the decision. Someone has to be careful with uh, drinking and driving at the moment and or drinking or going out at the moment. Um, it's best to isolate yourself because there's something not right around you. Something that wants to bring you down. It's bad energies that this whole witch is sending you. I hear the song by Beyonce, Drunken Love. Pe people look up to you. This person is looking crazy to you at the moment. You don't see them the same. They got caught. This person's, like I said, his or her mask fell off. This person wronged you in the past knows whatever they did to you is going to be hard to come back or they cannot come back at all. This person tested you. Right now, they're stuck in a cycle of karma. They're not only reaping their own karma, they're reaping the person they left you for's karma as well. And this person is at a sense like, oh my God, I can't believe I made the wrong choice. 
oh my God, I can't believe I did this to this my divine masculine or my divine feminine. And for some of you, this person was watching you in the car and you saw it. You heard the screeching of the wheels. This person tried to spin the block. This person didn't duck down low enough. And you saw this person. And if this hasn't happened, this will happen. This person is lurking around you in your energy and you can feel it. For some of you, you're going to hear car horns. You're going to hear dogs barking. Listen to the noises around you. And I get like this person is a dog. Now, this person left you for a gold digger. And your person is kind of a gold digger too. Very vain person. This person they left you for. Very all up in herself or all, all up in himself. Your ex, your ex best friend was in on this situation. I get like this best friend was talking ish. So if you're a guy, uh, this was a female best friend of your person. If you're a woman, this was a fee, uh, male best friend of your person. They're the same sex as your person. Their friend was talking ish all in their ear. And everything they said was a lie because partially your, your person doesn't know that this friend kind of wants you. Take it as it resonates. They're realizing that you're the truth. You are in your life's purpose. You change someone's beliefs in religion and spirituality because they're starting to see everything you said. They didn't believe you at first, but they believe you now. They thought you was fake flexing. You told them, I'm chosen. I have a gift. You told them I'm a star seed or an earth angel. You told them, or you told them in layman's terms for them to understand. But overall, Everything that you told this person, they thought you was BSing. Now they realize you were saying the truth the whole time. They thought you was fake, but they know now that you're not. I'm an advocate of God. I believe in God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But I take it like spirituality, religion came from spirituality. Religion is something that people took a little bit of everything of what they wanted and they made their own religion. Now, we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. See, a lot of people don't believe in the Holy Ghost. But how can you believe in the ghost but not believe in the Father and the Son? Well, how can you believe in the Father and the Son, I mean, but not believe in the ghost? That's crazy. See, but you're awakening this person. What you did triggered your person to wake up. These people were irresponsible with you. And I get like family was irresponsible with you too. A lot of them try to stop you. But you're in your north node. And if you're not in your north node, you're heading to your north node. See, people take like awakening. Like, okay, it's part of the matrix. Pick the blue pill or the red pill. Blue or red could be significant to you. But see, a lot of you are awakening to this situation and to life. Um, I get like also this person for some of you is trying to ghost you and for some of you, you didn't even notice they try to ghost you because you're not on that childish level. This person is though. Now this is a ghosting gone wrong because after they did this to you or you realize what they were doing, you were the master at ghosting and, and they're still in turmoil. Like, where's my person? For some of you, you changed your number, changed your, your contact info, you moved, whatever it may be. They cannot get into your energy. They can't feel your energy. And it's hurting them to the core. It basically backfired. You won. You was, you was the master at ghosting somebody. They're mad that you were able to ghost them. They're feeling uncomfortable while you're comfortable. And they're bad at this. This person has a sharp tongue. The person they left you for has a sharp tongue. But if they're married, I see a fake marriage. But if they're married, I see as if there's a divorce coming or some type of separation. Because not only did their mask fall off to you, their mask fell off to each other. These, people, these two are arguing. Your person gave their cup to the wrong one. Your person poured out their cup of love for you. I personally would not take nobody back that did that to me. You get one chance in my world. 
Someone is being a copycat. I get like this person of your ex is trying to cloak themselves in like your image. They're trying to portray your energy. But they know they're failing miserably at it. At this moment, some of you have an elder pet. This pet is passing, but this pet is passing because something new is coming into your life. Something is being born into your life. This pet has served their purpose. And for some of you, your pet is howling, growling, or whatever it may be, meowing, or chirping, whatever they are. They're warning you that something is lurking around. You have a pet that is a protector. This pet is currently protecting your grounds. A pet is spiritually cleansing your house. A divorce is coming. There is a mother and daughter duel in this situation. And we have the we have the big foot boys here too as well. The feds are watching your person or the law is watching your person or your person's person because they were in some dealings that they should not have been in. For a lot of you in this situation, either your person went to jail or is going to jail. Remember, love always wins. Someone wants your new number. Someone wants you to unlock yourself to them, to open yourself to them. At this point, it sounds like a trickster. I also get that today is the 1010 portal. That's when um, you have divine intervention. An ending and a beginning. And that's what also two represents. An ending and a beginning. There's spell work here at play. And there's also karma here at play. And you got to remember the spell work don't necessarily mean someone turning on a candle and someone doing spells and all this and that to you. It could also be word magic. It could also be kitchen magic. It depends. Now, I'm going to also read to you the overall meaning of all these cards. I just want to get through the channel messages. Someone is trying to replace you. Change is coming. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. It was an illusion. All love spells are broken. Once a tower is in reverse, you can't stop it. Divine intervention is happening. And I get like the headless horseman. This person is not thinking with their heart and they're thinking with their head. You have to think with your head and not with your heart in this situation. If someone left you for someone else, they know it was a mistake. They, they are currently in regret. Your person is scared to leave the other person. Your ex, your ex is tired of this person. Your ex is tired of this person hurting them. Not only physically, I get like they get into physical altercations, but verbally as well. This person of your person is very verbally abusive. This person downgrades them and belittles them. Again, I, they're running out of time. For some of you, these two are going to jail. For some of you, one of the other is going to jail. For some of you, this, this is going to end bad with your past person and their current person. Like I said in my other videos, all our videos, all our readers, all our videos are a story. So go back because there's something in every video for you. We, Like I said, we have karma. There's no love. This situation is broken. Your person left you for someone that they thought was better than you, whether financially stable, had a better place, a better car, whatever it may be. But this past person of yours is realizing they were they were wrong. They rejected the wrong person. They rejected their true divine counterpart for a lie. They thought they were getting a housewife or a husband. What they got was a warlock or a whole witch. Take it as it resonates. This person wants to act like you're the home record, but they're really the home record because this person, you were married to them in a past life. This was your twin flame. For some of you, and for some of you, this person is about to be downgraded or has already been. You need to watch out for the red flags. Some of you are scared to start over in new love. Someone needs more sleep here as well. 
You need to trust the process and stay focused. Someone thinks if they give your ex SEX, it will keep them. Like as if it will change their mind. And I'm also getting your ex is also thinking if they get you in bed, they can, they could lure you back in. But you're a totally different person. For some of you, you're not even turned on to this person. You was turned on to the thought of them. It had nothing to do with physical appearance or how they are in the bedroom. It was the thought of them. But they never realized that, that you cared for them for them, not for what they could give you or how they act in the bedroom. Now, I also got a song. It says... Make me sweat, make me hotter, make me lose my breath, make me water. Someone could be a water sign. We're getting strong water sign. And like I said, someone's trying to lure you back in with temptation. Your person is very toxic and has a toxic personality. And your person's person is also very toxic. But you have a divine soulmate coming in. Your divine soulmate trumps your twin flame at this moment. So you get a soulmate, a kindred spirit. Uh, only for some of us, we get a twin flame union. And if the twin flame union fails, we get a divine soulmate. So there's four. We're not all lucky to receive all four or meet all four or be able to find all four, but... You will find your match because it's meant to be. It is faded. You will meet someone you can trust, a friend, a homie, someone that's going to be your lover, someone that will make everything better, someone that will care for you, someone that will put you first and acknowledge you. Some of you are being promoted in life currently, in the spiritual realm. If you've walked your path and stood on your divine path, you're being upgraded. Now, your person is being downgraded. This person has become a karmic devil, devil in your life. Your person will be stuck in a constant cycle of karma. The, like I said before, the karmic treats your person like a biatch. Your person has to do the dishes. Your person is taking on a feminine role. And this person is taking on a masculine role. Their person. Whether female or male. Doesn't matter what it is. That's this person's way of belittling your person. I also get got the angel number 414. You are ready for change. This number is is a mark of a divine timing, twin flame separation, self-love, healing, personal transformation. I also got 1010, and we're in the 1010 portal, so you could be seeing 1010 a lot. And you could always go back and play whatever numbers I say in the lotto. You never know if you hit it. You are being encouraged by your guardian angels to make a decision. They are capable of helping you. You just have to ask the divine for help. Your spiritual path is aligning with your soul. You're on a mission and you don't even realize it. You are growing spiritually and very fast. Your person keeps throwing the karma. Like your person is throwing the karmic, like throwing you in the face. Like, oh, this person was better than you. This person was better than you in bed. This person's kisses was better. This person's cooking was better. To hurt this witch hoe, okay? Which is making her more angry or making him more angry. Take it as a resonance. Your person is in denial for some of you. That this karmic that they're with is not their person. They're still like wearing shades at night. They can't see. And I get like the owl in the ambiance sounds. There's something here that is being hidden. So you have this whole witch that is hiding things, secrets from your person. But your person is also blinded. At the moment, the divine wants you to manifest. At this moment, you need to work on your manifestations and keep your vibrations high. So whatever this whole witch sends to you, it won't hurt you. 
And the divine doesn't want you to think about a house. The divine wants you to think about a mansion. The divine wants you to manifest big because you're old. You're old in the spiritual realm. What's in the 5D is you're a giant. You're rich. You're abundant. And it's time for spirit to align everything. So whatever's happening in the 3D has to happen in the 5D. Oh, well, and whatever's happening in the 5D has to happen in the 3D. So the divine wants to bring you a new love. But you have to end this cycle with this past person. And I also get this, like the theme song, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. What's a Pokeball? What's a Pokemon? A Pokemon is like a divine being. Like these people want to catch you. They want to catch you out there. Like you have the good and you have the bad. The bad wants to stop you because there's something you're supposed to birth that is going to help save souls. There's something you're supposed to create. You're part of God's master plan. And this is what the divine wants for you. The divine wants you to wake up to this situation because all this is is hindering you. And what does a Pokeball do? Catch a divine one? This person wants to set you up for a trap. Could be this whole witch or this whole warlock. Now this person is a straight certified side ninja or side female. You met this person when you was dealing with somebody else long ago. I get several years like this person is in and out of your life. Like a thin line between love and hate. But you're either healing on your healing path or you're healed. So you're attracting good. You're attracting abundance. And if you are not on your healing journey, please do so. Because that's the meaning of your life. You have to find why you was put here. So if someone's trying to play in your face, play in your energy, you know it instantly. And you block it. You shut the people down. You also get downloads as soon as you meet people. And someone knows that you are watching their every move in a sense in the spiritual realm. And they know they're being watched. Now I'm going to break down these cards here for you. So we have... Past, present, future, overall energy. This is a maybe card, a maybe card, a maybe card for past, present, and future energy. Maybe you will be with this person. Maybe you, you won't. The lovers is a yes and no card. And we have also... We have the third eye chakra all across the board. All across the board here. And the third eye chakra represents the I see. So you're seeing right through the situation. And if you haven't seen yet, you will. Now, we also, like I said, we have earth, air, fire, and water. So we have every element out here. Now, give me one moment. Because I want to read out to you exactly. I have Cancer, Taurus. So the lovers, I have Cancer. No, Taurus. The Two of Cups, I have Cancer. The Two of Swords, I have Libra. The Two of Wands, I have Aries. And the Two of Pentacles... I have Capricorn. So again, either your person could be one of those signs or you could be one of those signs. Now, um, let me make sure this is in order. So I have balance. There has to be a balance. The two of pentacles represents balance. The two of wands represents choice. The two of swords represents decision. And... The two of cups represents love. So you have to find a balance and have come to a choice. Pick You got to pick somebody. You can't go back and forth. That's what this is basically saying. You, you want to go on to the new or stick to the old? You have to make a decision in love. 
Now we have the major arcana, um, the lovers, that represents a six. Six broken down in half, that represents a three. Three represents the Holy Trinity. Now I also want to read to you Now the lovers, it says a major choice. It says soulmate, temptation, being put to the test, kindred spirit, perfect union, partnership, relationship, romance, desires, sexual attraction, shared values. The Hierophant, which is this card, which represents you, represents intuition, mystery, inner knowing, self-trust, spiritual insight, emotion, stability, divination, wisdom and knowledge, things yet to reveal itself, spiritual guides, discovery in one's own truth. Now the two of pentacles represents balance. You're going to go through your ups and downs, adaptability, flexibility, juggling life, juggling money, transformation in money, profits and loss, income and outgoing. Financial decisions, financial stress, and partnership. So in the past, you had money problems, you had love problems. That was the past. Present time is the two of wands. You have two paths. Check out my last reading. You could go left or you could go right. You have to make a decision. You have options in this situation. You have to plan. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. And that's what your parent, your, your past person thought, that the grass was greener on the other side. But God cloaked what you had coming to you for a reason. They, he wanted this person to love you genuinely, not for what you had, for material wealth. You have to decide whether you're going to stay or you're going to go. You need to anticipate this situation. Yes, at times you feel restless. You feel detached and withdrawn. Because this is a very lustful situation. This person triggers you. But this person was meant to trigger you. You're here not because of a past lover. You're here because you're awakening. Now, this is a stalemate. Past, present, future, stalemate. The two of swords. You need to retrace your steps for some of you. You're sitting on the fence about this situation, but you're at a crossroads. This may be a difficult decision and a painful choice. And also a stressful de decision for you to make. You have to be optimistic. You have to face your fears. Being torn between two lovers. This is a divided in loyalty. Are you going to be loyal to yourself or loyal to someone that wasn't loyal to you is the question. Now this future person coming in, this person is going to be all about you. Now, the Two of Cups represents unity, love, compatibility. This is overall energy, the Two of Cups. This is, represents a happy couple, a potential soulmate, a relationship, harmony, balance, equality, attraction, connection, proposal for some, engagement for some, marriage for some. This is a mutual respect that this future person will have for you. And this person will love you like no other. And I get it's going to be steaming in the um, bedroom. Why? Because this also represents cancer. And what the, is the cancer symbol? Uh, you know, it's a position. <laughs> we also have um, the I love chakra here as well as the third eye chakra. So you have to see what's going on in your love life. This is you got to see what is happening with the situation. Again, I keep getting you have to make a decision. Now, the best way to make a decision, I'm going to give you what to focus on on the planetary charts. Now we have Jupiter. So you need to focus on your expansion and prosperity. We also have Mars. You need to take action and energy regarding this situation. We also have the moon. This has to be, do with feelings and instinct. What do you feel inside? 
Do you feel like this is a, a good situation for you? Do you feel like you should rekindle this with this past person? We also have Mercury, communications and mentality. You have to communicate in this situation. You have to communicate your feelings, what you want and what you don't want, what you will stand on and what you won't. You have to take some time to think about this as well. We also have Pluto. So we have regeneration and transformation as well. This is something else you have to focus on. You have to regenerate in this situation constantly because this is a draining situation. And it says also to focus on transformation. You yourself have changed. Has this person changed? It's the real question. Now, make choices wise. That's what I take from this. And you're coming at a crossroads. This is what I get from this. Now, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Um, if you want more, subscribe. I upload daily. Um, may your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. And now it's time to tap, tap, tap out, collective. And as always, peace be on to you.